Hey guys, it's Percy here again today for another video. Sorry this upload is late today. I just wanted to trade my dog something and then I wanted to film it. So right now, here he is. Um, right now we're working on stay and then jump. So like, watch this, stay. Stay. I have my clicker in my hand. And he gets really excited over this thing, the gray bud, because when you push the gray bud, sorry, focus, focus, focus. When you push the gray bud, that sound means look. So, look. that sound means treat that little bit. Come here. Up, 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 on the couch. Leave it. Sit. Good boy. So I clicked. And then come. And then now he's on the couch, which he should be, but. Alright, so I clicked and gave him the treat. So that's the whole concept of clicker trading. And uh, what's your dog? So it. He. And then you repeat this process over and over again. And then once, like. Like he stays. Come. Get down. Come on. Get down. Come. Leave it. So like once he stand. Come on. Stand. Up. Leave the clicker. I could flip it. Flip. Come on, stand. I don't have to stand. Oh my gosh. At least, hold on. Hold on, my thing is cut off. Okay. So, that's the whole concept of clicker trading. Um, all right, so. We're working on down. Down is the hardest command I thought it would be like sit and then down. As is routine, but it's literally sit and then paw, and then I have to lure him, which means no straight and no down. Um, sit. Sit. And then at. So, I should have my clicker on the other hand, but. I should have my clicker and then treats, but <laughs> sit, come here, sit, yes, so I'll give him that piece, just cause I, like, he's conditioned to the clicker, so if I click and then don't treat, he's gonna be confused, right, so, um, so he's gonna be confused, so that's why I had to treat him on sit, but this time I'm just gonna say sit, then he will sit for it, and then I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna click or anything, and then I'm gonna say down, as he's going into the down command, and then over time, you could just say down, and then he'll go down, All right? And then right now, since I'm in a trading session, he will down, I'll click, and then give him the treat. And then now, sit. Come here. Come on, come on. Come on. So you could tell he was getting frustrated there, so I just threw the treat over this PVC hurdle. Hold on. PVC hurdle that I made. And he did pretty well. Just so I could reset him. So, um, all right, Teddy, come here, sit, come here, sit, sit, 
And here's another tip with training a dog to down on command. Sit. He sat. So here's another tip of, of uh, training your dog to down on command. You have to have you have to have a lot of patience and good baby steps. So. should take up the puppy class and put it down with the puppy anymore. So I literally train him at home just because out leave it. Good boy. Like sit. I know I'm confusing him a little bit because I'm talking to you guys but so uh, I'm gonna be quiet and just tell the command. So, Teddy, come here. Sit. Come here. Sit. Sit. So I forgot to have my clicker on the hand that I had the tree on, but so I'm going to literally do it again. Alright, so I'm going to do it again just so, uh, you guys can see the progress. Oh, let me get you off my little tripod that I have you guys on. Come here, sit. Alright. Sit. Sit. I should literally say it once, but... And then wait for him to... Um, wait for him to... Come here. I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to put the GoPro there, you know, yeah, and just leave the clicker, so, hey, 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 sit, I'm going to be like, and here's, The key thing I have for you is here's what happened after I taught him down. Oh, he almost quite did. Stay. We stood. Stayed for that second. So, like, I would have built up on his down, and then I'm gonna build up on his stay. So, in this video, so sit, come here, sit. Hey, 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 sit. Ah, I accidentally gave out the tree, on accident. So, hurts. 
that was a little bit harder than expected just because look how big that tree is how big look how big it normally is that big and i like to break it up into small tiny pieces for him to lure him into the trick i'm about to teach him and here's another tip i have for you is go down eye level to the dog so like say i had a great dane here i don't but say i had a great dane um say i had a great dane i would literally had to have to go up to eye level and then i would say for example sit Hey, Teddy, I'm going to learn a new trick today, okay? Okay. So, he does sit like crazy. And here's the thing I have for you guys is when I take him outside and I do that down stay outside, he will down stay just because he thinks the, the guy who plays him off is a bed, so, which it is, isn't but dog logic, it is. Come here. Sit. So. Come here. Stay. 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 Hey, look at me. Stay. Stay. Down. Yes. Good boy. So now that he's in his down and he's in his stay right now, so I'm gonna click for his down. And then here's the thing I taught him after down. So here's the thing I taught him after down is roll. So he'll roll on command and then I will click and treat. Roll, good boy. Like once he gets good at down the sometimes I could just point like I could point to the ground like that. Like I could literally go like this, pretend he has the ground, down, down, and he will down on command. That's how I taught him over the two years I've had him sit. Since he's getting a little bit frustrated with me you now, I'm gonna take the treats that I have and I'm gonna see what he does with his hurdle PVC thingy. So, with the hurdle thingy, he already knows sit and stay like crazy. Sit. Like crazy, so stay. Sit, stay. I jump over the hurdle, stay there. Sometimes he'll go around, but but he's pretty good. Come on! I said sometimes he'll go around, which he did. Come on! Hey, can't blame me. I would do the same thing if I was a dog, is sit. After I would do the command, I would just stay. Come on. If I had an agility obstacle if I was a dog, I would literally stay. Hey. Why are you scratching his face? Jack, what the? Come on. See that's got him Jack running. Come on, up. Good boy, sit. So. I forgot to have my clicker on me, but he's so good on this thingamajiggy that I don't need it. Come! Catch. Alright. Come on! Alright. Oh well.
right now he's sitting there. Hold on. Break this up. You can literally see where I broke it up. Right now. Dang it. He's in his day. Come. So he just went over his hurdle. And. Hold on. Go. Hey, leave it. Uh, he had. Like. He can leave things alone. Like. For example, sit. You can leave this piece of tree alone, like that. But then, um, um, I set it down, leave it, and then I add motion to it, leave it, and it's still the same concept, but it is different because he's. What are we? It's motion, and then with motion, like things with motion are more exciting than things without motion for a dog. Like, oh, no. come here. What do we have? If you can, if you can see it, I have that much of a treat, and it's enough to have a dog. Go crazy for it. Not necessarily go crazy, but where? Like, with really. And here's another thing. If, like, your dog's meal comes out of your hand, like, your hand, um, then it's gonna be like, oh, I like you, and it's gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna listen to you, yes. But it's gonna be like, oh, I like you, and I like you, and it's gonna be, I will with you just because a meal comes out of your hand. So, and like 10 minutes of, sorry, this is going on like 20 minutes now, but 10 minutes of structure is in. 10 minutes of structured training can make your dog better. I really want to get him into agility, but like small dog agility, but I already have two obstacles at my house. The big blue tunnel and the agility hurdle. So. Hey, come here. I'm gonna see if I could get the tunnel open. Goodbye. Come
Teddy, where are you? Oh, God. Teddy, sit. Sit. Catch. Easy. Peasy. Sit. Catch. <laughs> 